In this video, I'll demonstrate to you guys when we should be careful with the order of the capital D notations. So, as you can see, I have two examples right here. And all I did was that I switched the D and D plus 2T right here, right? And remember, the deal for all these questions is that be sure you do this inside out. Inside out, okay? And let's look at the first one. In this particular order, okay? Well, right here, let me just first write down the D on the outside, and let me put on the bracket, and we have to work out the inside first. So, we are going to first differentiate t to a third power, and we end up 3t squared, right? The derivative of t to a third power is 3t squared. And then, the derivative of negative 8 is 0, so it doesn't matter. And then this is regular 2t. You're just going to multiply 2t and t to a third power, and we end up with plus 2t to the fourth power, right, when you multiply them. At the end, you do 2t times negative 8, which is negative 16t. And this is what we have, right? And now, we are going to differentiate this right here. So, you see, differentiating 3t squared, we get 6t to the first power. And then, differentiating 2t to the fourth power, bring the 4 to the front, so we have plus 8 and then minus 1, which is t to the third power, right? Like that. And at the end, we differentiate negative 16t, so we have negative 16. That's it. This will be the result for that equation, okay? And now let's look at the second one. What if we did switch the order? In this case here, let me first write down the d plus 2t. This is just chilling on the outside, okay? Inside out, we are going to first differentiate t to the third power. That's going to give us 3t squared. And then we'll differentiate negative 8, which is just 0, so it doesn't matter. So this is what we have for the inside. And then we continue, right? We are going to differentiate 3t squared, which is going to give me 6t to the first power. And then I will go ahead, this and that, which is regular multiplying, right? 2 times 3 is plus and then the 6, and then t times t squared is t to the third power. That's what we have. 6t plus 6t to the third power. This will be the result for that. Well, as you can see, all we did with the first and then the second one is that I switched the order. So the note I want to make right here is that over there, if you look at d, d plus 2t like this in this order, if you look at this as the operator, you have to apply this one first, okay? Because you do this inside out. This, it's not the same as if you switch them. This is not the same as saying d plus 2t, and then you have the d, okay? d plus 2t and then the d, okay? The reason that they are not the same, it's because that we do contain a variable t in our operator. You see, we have the plus 2t. So this is very different than the one I showed you in the previous video. If I didn't have the t, then yes, they will be the same. This is not the same because we do have the t. On the other hand, just like the previous video, if I just have d times d plus 2, this would be the same as d plus 2 and then d like that. This is correct. This is not. Once again, because the operator notation right here contains the t, okay? The order matters in this case. So be careful when you are using the capital D notation. Only when we have just constants, you can treat them as a you know, polynomial. In fact, this is also the same as you can just distribute. You can also say this is equal to d squared plus 2d. Okay? You can distribute and then multiply if you would like. But we cannot do anything like that with uh, this right here because it has 